guys, Rudy here. So in this video, we're going to be creating a two-color rhinestone car decal working with our brand new magic flock material. So what's so important about this new flock material? Big thing that we changed on it first was that adhesive on the backing, all right? So that adhesive, by making it less tacky, gives less stress on our motor and our blade, which gives it a longer lifespan, all right? So though that blade is going to last you a lot longer now. Also, you can see the color has changed as well. Now this color is not going to match any other stone that we offer, so it's going to make the brushing in a lot easier because you're going to be able to see all the different stones. It's not going to blend in like the old material did. All right. Third, we made the fibers much smaller, much thinner. All right. Now that allows us to work with different stone sizes, as the sixes, tens, sixteens, and so on, in a much easier and quicker pace. All right. Lastly, because the thinner material and the less tackiness. We can actually place this material on our workstation, leave it there over time, and you'll notice when you rip it, it won't actually rip the holes. All right, so great, great details there with the new material. Also, if you guys are looking for cut settings, we've made this special label, all right? Watch how cool this is. If I open this label here, we're going to have all the different cut settings right there, all right? So if you're working with GCC cutters, the graph tape, Roland, or the silhouette, you have your cut settings right there on the actual label, all right? So don't have to go online and print anything out. It's right there for you guys. All right, so let's go over here to our software and show you how we're gonna cut this design out and the whole process to create the car decal. All right, so here's our baseball heart design. As you can see, it's a two color design. So the first thing we wanna do is separate our colors. Now we're working in Corel Draw and we're gonna be using the wizard to separate our colors. Now, because I'm working with rhinestones, I'm going to go ahead and do a stone 2 plus cut to separate these stones. Now, that's going to give us a much cleaner weed once we do cut our design out. So let's highlight that image and left click on stone 2 plus cut. Now, that's going to create the two templates for us. So here's our first color, which is the outline with the laces, and then we have the fill. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this image here. Make sure to save that prior to deleting it. And then let's highlight both of our templates. Now, we're going to go to export to send our design over to our cutting program. In this case, we're going to be working with the Roland GS24. The nice thing is with the wizard, we have all those options down here. Let's go ahead and select the Roland, which is already checked off here. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and hit send to cutter. Now, this is going to, again, bring our design over to our Roland Cut Studio program, which is then going to allow us to cut this design. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set the settings in the, in the actual cutter. So, all we're going to have to do is hit cutting and hit OK to actually send that design over. All right, so let's go over here to the cutter and send this design. All right, excellent. So here's our design cut out. Let's go ahead and bring out our material so it makes the weeding process a little bit easier on us. So I'm just going to go right up here to the top right-hand corner, and I'm just going to go ahead and peel. Look at that weed. Perfect. Let's go to this one now, and we'll do the same thing. And look at that. Beautiful weed. Again, that thinner material allows that cut to be much easier. It's going to allow us to weed that material a lot easier. All right, so there we have it, guys. Again, beautiful weed with the newer material here. Now, we have the same, te the same size templates that's going to make the registration for us. All right, so this process is going to be much easier by layering two layers. All right, so let's go ahead and brush in our first one here. So you can see this is going to be our crystal stones. Now, again, I got a lot of stones on there. That's going to give us a better chance to get them all in the holes. So let's go here, and let's go ahead and brush these stones in. You'll notice the bit, most important thing is you make sure that you keep the face of the brush flat. All right, that's going to allow that, those stones to go in there correctly. And it's not going to knock them out as we're going over to cleaning it up. Look how nice and easy that, that worked. All right, so all our stones are in there. Now we're ready to create our transfer. So let's go ahead and clean up our area here. Beautiful. So now we have all our stones in there. Our workstation is cleaned out. Now we're going to use our transfer tape here to create that first layer of our transfer. So we're just going to go ahead and peel. Now what I like to do, you can do a couple different methods. We can do the U-shape, we can just lay this side down first. The biggest thing is we want to make sure that the sheet is a little bit longer than normal so we do. So when we anchor it, there's, it's not too close to where we're brushing our stones in so we don't get any stones on the actual template, excuse me, on the actual transfer sheet. All right, so let's go ahead and lay this down first. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and lay this side down and just going to bring it all the way across here, all right? Now we're going to apply some firm pressure. Just make sure all those stones are on the transfer. And we're just going to go ahead and peel. All right, so there we go. Now again, we're just going to peel this back and anchor it back here. 
So that's going to stay in the same spot, which is going to make our registration much, much easier. All right, and if you have a, anything like a pair. All right, so here's our decal material. We have our transfer here created. Now, there is two sides to the decal material. One's going to be the backing, and one's going to be where the actual transfer is going to be pressed onto. All right, so the shiny side, that's what we're pressing onto. That matte finish side, dull side, is going to be the backing. All right, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and peel the backing off a little bit. And then you can see where that adhesive is. So again, shiny side. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just apply that transfer right over it. Now the material is going to become vulnerable once we, once we press it. So we want to make sure that we have at least one corner inside of our decal material. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put the whole transfer in there. And that way when we peel it, it's not going to take off the top layer of our decal material. And again, we're going to save material. So we're going to go ahead and cut this as close as possible to our transfer so we're not wasting any of this decal material here. And there we have it. So now that we're set up here, let's go over to our heat press and show you how we're going to press this on. All right, so here's our design. We got it on the decal material. Now we got our heat press set to 320. And we're going to do this for about 12 seconds, our first initial press. And then we're going to flip it around and do another five seconds just to ensure that, that the stones are adhered correctly to the decal material. Now, like I mentioned before, this material already has an adhesive on the, on the backing, so we want to make sure we're protecting our heat press. All right, so I'm just going to use a Teflon sheet here, fold it over, and make sure, again, we're just covering all parts of our decal. Now, you don't have to just press one decal at a time. Just remember, you can do multiple as long as it fits all in your platen there. So there we go. Let's go ahead and press this again for that 12 seconds. All right, so there we have it, 12 seconds again. It's facing up, so let's go ahead and flip it around for another five seconds. Make sure, again, it's completely adhered to the decal material. All right, beautiful. So now, we're just going to let this cool down for a couple seconds because it is hot, or we can peel it right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that corner right here from our transfer tape, and I'm just going to go ahead and peel. All right, so now there's our decal material. Now that we took the transfer tape, you can see how beautiful that looks. Now all we need to do is go around the edges there, and we, we can cut that with a pair of scissors. All right, once that's completed, you're ready to apply. All right, so there you guys have it, our two-color rhinestone car decal. Look how beautiful that came out. Now, again, this was all possible by the brand-new Magic Flock material, which made the process so much easier on us. So if you guys have any questions at all, make sure you guys check out the website right there, right below. If you enjoyed this training, make sure to check out our free and premium webinars located in the link in the description below.